Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at what a mole in chemistry is and its importance in chemical equations, in chemistry, in the periodic table, and in performing calculations in chemistry. So if you recall in our video about the periodic table and our element cards, I had brought up the topic of a mole and said that we were going to talk about it at a later date. Well, all a mole is, is a different way to count atoms, ions, and molecules by mass instead of counting them individually. And this is because atoms, ions, and molecules are all so incredibly small that if we were to actually count each and every one of them, that number would be ginormous. So instead of counting it individually, we're counting it using mass, or more specifically, grams. And when we're looking at moles, an extremely important number is Avogadro's number. And Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power, which in itself is a huge, huge number. So what Avogadro's number is, is just a number, as it says in the name, just like a dozen is equal to 12, and a pair is equal to 2, a mole is equal to Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And when we're looking at it in a chemistry viewpoint, we're referring to this number as the number of particles that exist. So now let's take a look at, again, our hydrogen element card. And here we have the atomic, not the atomic number, sorry about that, the atomic mass. What the atomic mass tells you is the number of grams that is necessary in order to get one mole of the element. So, if we look at the atomic mass that is given here, we see 1.008. What this means is to get this many hydrogen particles, to get 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen particles, which we can also just say as a mole of hydrogen particles, we are going to need 1.008 grams of hydrogen. Similarly, if we wanted two moles of hydrogen particles, we would have two, so two moles of hydrogen would be equal to two times 1.008 grams of hydrogen. So this is all that a mole is, simply a number that we use to count atoms, ions, and molecules based on an element's mass. For more personalized tutoring and to practice online using our online assessments, make sure to check out prepace.com. I'll see you all in my next video.